Hi guys! So today's video is really exciting. I don't know why this stuff just makes me so happy and I want to film this video so that I can get rid of a lot of this stuff and I'll have these memories forever. A little backstory. I... how far back are we going here? <laughs> I moved back in with my parents after college and I lived there for two years and then I moved into this house. And when I moved into this house, I only brought things that I needed for this house and I left a bunch of crap at my parents' house. <laughs> Anyone else? I have been thinking a lot for most of my life about how I'm going to have to get that stuff out of my parents' house and I was over there last week and brought home four boxes of things that are from my childhood and it's like obviously I didn't need it here. I've lived in this house for eight years almost so I don't need any of this stuff clearly. I haven't missed it in the last eight years but it's just like what do you do with it? I don't want to like throw it away. I'm going to either a lot of this stuff is actually expired trash. Some of it's like clothes and jewelry and things like that. So I wanted to share with you guys because I was sitting down with some of my friends a couple weekends ago and we started like reminiscing about like lip smackers and Tamagotchis and stuff like that. This video doesn't have any toys, I don't think, um, but I do have a bunch of toys. So let me know if you're interested in seeing some 90s slash early 2000s toys. When I say that, I mean mostly Beanie Babies. <laughs> I am going to go through just some random stuff. Like I said, there's clothes, jewelry, magazines, some beauty products because I have been living this life a lot longer than I realized. <laughs> just a bunch of random stuff. I don't even really know where to begin. <laughs> but I think I will start with clothes. So just a couple of highlights. Some of these are like not super old, but some of them are. And these I wanted to show because I feel like these would be, like if I could wear these right now, if my body still fit into these clothes, then this would be like an outfit that people wear now, especially like younger girls. So <laughs> this little spaghetti strap tank top, is from the Gap. <laughs> the little square neck tank top. I feel like that's like on trend right now. And then these shorts, which I think, yes, also from the Gap with the little <laughs> embroidery on the pockets and around the bottom and the little patches. These shorts and like jeans like this were so cool when I was younger, but I remember wearing these together and that was like a cute outfit. And I think that someone would wear those now. In fact, I tried to get Lizzie to wear these, but they were too small for her. They're a kid's size, so, but I thought she could fit into them. And if she could have, she would have worn them because they're really cute, but clearly I don't need them. They don't fit me and away they go now. This type of tank top I remember from high school. And I know you guys are going to remember these. And I also feel like this style is kind of back now too, but maybe I'm wrong. Just not with the wrinkles. Do you guys remember these lacy tank tops, but they were like purposefully wrinkled? And I used to wear this over like other shirts, you know, like I would wear it over this shirt. I hope you guys like this video I really do because it just made me so happy to see some of this stuff and I was like oh I'm gonna miss you girl. Now this t-shirt I'm not getting rid of because I can still wear it it is just a t-shirt and actually I had this at my house because I love it so much. It is New Kids on the Block. <laughs> um, full disclosure I never listened to New Kids on the Block. This shirt was actually a hand-me-down from someone I know and to explain it is going to be a long story but I'm going to do it anyway. My dad was a fifth grade teacher so he had a lot of co-workers, obviously female co-workers. I don't feel like male co-workers would be like, hey does your daughter want my hand-me-downs but maybe 
that's something I need to <laughs> work on within myself. Um, anyway, so one of my dad's co-workers had a daughter that was a few years older than me. Her name is Carrie. Carrie, if you're watching this, hi. Um, and this was her shirt. And actually, I had several New Kids on the Block things from her. There was like a whole sweatsuit. And I know I have it somewhere around here. But, yeah, I don't know why I'm still talking about this. <laughs> Next, I have this dress. And I want to say that I wore this to my cousin's, like, not wedding shower. Her, maybe it was her wedding shower. I want to say I wore this to her rehearsal dinner, though. And I was like a junior bridesmaid and actually she just celebrated her 20th wedding anniversary. Yikes. We are old. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's what this dress was for. And again, I feel like this would be a thing that people would wear now. It's got these spaghetti straps. I think the only thing is like it's kind of square necked and I don't know that that's like a thing anymore and the glitters but it's like tie-dyed which is super in right now did you guys know <laughs> that people like wearing tie-dye now including me so i'm not really making fun of anyone but just in case you missed it tie-dye popular <laughs> but yeah tie-dyed it's got a weird bottom hem situation kind of like v's up that was like a thing the asymmetrical hem you remember someone would totally wear this now like, I'm going to give this to Goodwill and I'm going to see some teenager walking around in this. And you know what? Good for them because it's cute. Okay, and with that dress, I'm pretty sure I wore these shoes. And you know what? <laughs> I saw a survey on the INH um, Instagram page where they were asking for people's feedback on, like, different pictures and like styles and stuff and I saw some shoes pretty much similar to this like with this crossy thing and giving your big toe its own moment. <laughs> I think the only thing that's probably not back is this weird shaped heel but honestly I'm pretty sure someone would wear these right now too <laughs> because these weird strappy square toe sandaly things I keep seeing and I'm like, that reminds me of 7th grade cotillion. But am I going to keep them? Maybe. <laughs> and then speaking of cotillion, this tiny purse. This tiny satin purse. There are a ton of bobby pins in here and 50 cents. I, where is this from? Is it from Claire's? Yes, it's from Claire's. I remember carrying this to like every cotillion grand ball because all of my dresses I believe had black in them in some way or another <laughs> and I probably also carried this to prom maybe I feel like I did because that's all you needed was just like your lipstick and 8,000 bobby pins and 50 cents all right, and I think this is the last fashion-y thing. And again, I have seen these back. Maybe not in this pattern, but these little headscarf things. And this one, actually, I had a skirt that matched it. So you had the little headscarf, your little tank top, and your skirt in this same pattern, and some chunky foam heel sandals. And I was feeling myself. But yeah, this little headscarf. And then I also have this one. Lord help me. It has a headband already on it. And it's obviously blue leopard print. And I feel like this could be a thing. You know? But these were both, I think, from Girlfriends LA, which was a catalog. Hold tight for the catalog. <laughs> but it was like a catalog that you ordered clothes from back in the day and i remember doing chores and my dad would buy me an outfit from girlfriends la yes i was a spoiled brat i'm gonna move right into like other fashiony things that are gonna bring back some memories i pulled these out the other day when i was talking to my friend lizzie and my friend jess 
about a bunch of throwback stuff. So, and I'm sorry, I took the nail polish off my nails because they looked crappy. So they're not painted, but at least you're not looking at chip nail polish. Look at these! This watch ring, and then this is a snow globe with lip balm in it. That lip balm is disgusting. I know you guys remember the watch rings. I know you do. Everyone remembers these little choker necklaces, and I had a bracelet. Can I wear this? Will this fit over my hair? Yes! You know what? I'd still wear this. It's a little tight. And then I know everyone remembers these. What are these, you ask? Little rubbery bracelets. Apparently different colors meant different things in some parts of the world. I don't think that my school ever adopted those stipulations, but I want to say if somebody broke one or something, a certain color, then you had to like have sex with them. I did not do that. <laughs> Mom. Mom. I didn't do it. That's those. I thought I was hardcore wearing all my bracelets. All the way up my arm, just a bunch of bracelets. I was a badass. This bracelet, again, hardcore. I showed my friends the other day this little necklace. It's got a freaking beanie baby on it. A beanie baby. How cute. How cute is that? Also, how... Like, what is this necklace made of? The gold is, like, still shiny and stuff. Is this real? Okay, the only other jewelry thing I think I want to share is these little bracelets. Power bra power beads? Energy beads? We had a debate over what they were called. I can't remember. One of those two. But I want to say this was, like, elementary school that I was wearing these. This jewelry. Get ready. I don't even know if you're, if you're prepared for this. I know you had one. You had a ring or you had a necklace. You had something where you changed this little jewel to match your outfit. I know you did. Don't lie to me. We all did it. Why? I don't know. And then I threw a bunch of stuff in my caboodle. It was pretty much empty, but I wanted to show some things. So I, yeah, threw some stuff in here. Scrunchies. These, again, would these not be cute during this time period? I feel like iridescent things are, are back in, maybe. And then this scrunchie actually was from Girl Scouts of America. Fun fact. Yes, I was. And this, like, matched other Girl Scout logo-y things, but I think all I had was the scrunchie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is not mine. I think it was my brother's, and I'm sorry to call you out, but... Oh my god, help me. <laughs> Tell me that these are not on sale right now. T Tell me you're not going into Target and seeing these tiny sunglasses. WWJD bracelet. Oh, this was kind of disgusting, but I kept the feathers from my hair. Do you guys remember that? This was like post-college Jenny, so if you're Gen Z, I think this was like your middle school days, but I was still trying. And I'm not gonna lie, I would do it again. I think it's cute. Oh, watches. I don't like watches. Like, I hate bracelets. I wear this watch all the time. I'm a psychopath. I hated watches until I got my Apple Watch. It doesn't like slide around. I hate bracelets that like slide around all day. I don't have time for that. I have so many watches. These like novelty watches. We have Pocahontas, The Genie, Pinocchio, Rugrats, Barbie, and that's it. Why did I have so many watches? Why, I never wore these. It looks like maybe I wore this 
Rugrats one. It's a Rugrats movie watch. I feel like this came from McDonald's, but what a cool concept. But I just don't know why I had so many. <laughs> I also found these two little combs that are so cute. Lizzie, you're about to die. I feel like you're about to die over these little things. So this little mirror thing and then this Barbie comb. How cute. How cute is that? I honestly don't know if I can get rid of that. I'm just going to put it back. And then Lizzie, this is the one. This is the one I'm talking about. It's a dingle hopper. I also had this little box full of super, super old hair clips um, with like these guys. I know you remember these. And I know that you remember them because you're feeling pain just thinking about one of these snapping off and hitting you in the head. Yep. I had some with bows. Like, who invented these? Why was this a thing? These were little candies. That's really cute. But painful. Little buttons. So many. And then I just had a bunch of these little clips. There's like seashells. I remember wearing this one all the time. This is so ugly. I remember ones with hearts. Yes, these. Little hearts. Ugh. These have little bonnets on them. Why? Anyway, just a bunch of little hair clips and I don't have any idea what to do with them. If you're a mom with a little girl and you want to bruise her head with these little hair clip ball things, let me know. I'll send these to you. I want to say this is from middle school. Yeah, for sure. Middle school. This was my first hair straightener. Kids, settle down. We did not have hair straighteners until sometime in middle school. Pretty sure they didn't exist. Kind of like felt tip eyeliner. Didn't exist. This was my first straightener. Look at how thick this thing is. Look at how thick it is. These little plates would like grab your hair and pull them directly out of your scalp. It was so painful. The reason I bought this, aside from being obviously cute, I bought everything that was Mary Kay and Ashley. I showed in my how I did my makeup in high school. I think I had some of the Mary Kay and Ashley makeup. It was at Walmart. They had like beauty stuff at Walmart. They had clothes, accessories, all that stuff. It was the best time. It was the best time, but I had a bunch of their stuff and yeah, this was my first straightener. It was the worst. It made me like not want to straighten my hair. I was like, if this is what it takes to have straight hair, I don't want it. But although this was very cool, I am not sad to see it go because it was a torture device. So one of the major things that I left at my parents' house is legit trash, vintage trash magazines. I, I feel bad <laughs> that I have this many magazines. Like I have, there are more there. I just brought like the cool looking ones to show you. <laughs> and then the rest just need to be trashed. Like it's crazy. But I just wanted to show, I was very excited. I have two Taylor Swift 17 magazines. These are from May 2009 and June 2008. June 2008, my girl. Look how far we've come. We don't even have the same hair anymore. Some other notable 17 covers. Ashley Olsen. But wait, Mary Kate. It was a double issue. Alexis Bledel. This was July 2005, so Gilmore Girls was still on, and I was like in my prime obsession. No, I'm in my prime obsession now. My obsession grows daily <laughs> for Gilmore Girls, <laughs> but I was like really into it at this point in my life. I have. <laughs> Teen Prom featuring Nathan and Haley. Um, winter, spring 2006. Did I even go to prom that year? 
Probably not. <laughs> no, no, I did. I did. I went that year. So obviously I needed to look at some of the dresses. Oh, this, is this Anna's dress? Anna, is this your dress? It looks very similar. This style right here, that was like the thing in 2006. What is this? What is, okay, I have multiple questions. What is this? This one here, this blue one. And then also, who, who was allowing this? Is this allowed now? I mean, you know, girl, if you're feeling it, you're feeling it, but I just don't think that our school would have even let us in. You could see her belly button. <laughs> okay, and I also had a bunch of American Girl catalogs. Not just like the dolls, because I, I was obsessed with the dolls, obviously, but like, you could buy clothes. Is this the one with clothes? No, this is like, the one that talked about the different dolls like oh and then the ones that looked like you looked like you they didn't have as many as they have now but like because i think they all had long hair when i was younger but oh my gosh look at that catwoman costume these were the clothes this was like american girl apparel. It didn't really match your doll. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I remember I wanted all of this. Did I have some of this? Let me show you. I remember these things. The beauty products. I wanted, I wanted the beauty products. Oh no, I, I had this. I had those pajamas. They were my favorite pajamas. They were flame retardant. Just in case I caught fire in the middle of the night. I do recall that they were flame retardant. Oh, this whole entire color palette. I remember getting this little catalog in the mail and being like, I need all of that. This lime green, this light purple. Sign me up. It's a limited two catalog. Glitter jeans. Oh my gosh. I have not looked at these. I grabbed them and I was like, I'm going to look at these on camera. <laughs> And I'm sorry if this is boring, but like, this is just thrilling to me for some reason. I remember the denim had glitter in it somehow. And Limited 2 was the first place that I ever tried on stretchy jeans. So thank you, Limited 2. Thank you. Again, tell me that this is not back in style. Did Camo ever go out? I'm not really sure if it did. I don't know. I'm Southern, so. <laughs> I had some of these pants and genius, but also ugh. <laughs> these pants, they zipped off into capris and then they also zipped off one more time into shorts. I don't think mine were, were mine from Limit 2? I'm pretty sure mine were from Goodies. Goodies, that's right. I got really Southern when I said that. This was another one that I grabbed for Lizzie. I'm going to save it for you because I feel like you're going to want to thumb through it yourself, but... I forgot all about this. These were the AG minis, the American Girl minis. Tiny rooms to change and arrange. Look at the, oh my God. It's a tiny cat in a tiny cat house and tiny cat food bowls and a tiny little mouse toy. And it's just so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm getting like Jess from New Girl thinking about the puppy in the teacup. Tiny, look at, these were all tiny. I don't know if you guys understand. <laughs> this was like the Vans Warp Tour, oh, official program from 2005. And this was the only Warp Tour I ever went to. This was also like my first real concert that I ever went to. Like, I don't think I'd ever seen a band that I liked live. You know, like I'd seen random local performances at events but this was like the first time I was seeing bands that I like actually wanted to see um and I remember we saw Fallout Boy, The Offspring, The Starting Line, MXPX, who else? Who else? It was a good time. It was extremely hot. We were all disgustingly sweaty and then it started to pour rain 
and then we were all soaking wet in my car my car and yeah memories memories guys and then this little catalog I kept because this was the Target college catalog from 2007 which is when I went to college <laughs> that was so long ago oh my god I still have this laundry basket though no joke I still have that I'm pretty sure this trash can is still at my parents house I'm sorry I'm sorry mom and dad but yeah I was like obsessed with this was the bedding that I had this one here the last ones oh my god I've been talking about catalogs for like 15 minutes I'm so sorry I'm gonna have to cut so much of this but the last ones here are girlfriends LA alloy my best friend Anna is is was obsessed with alloy she, this was like the one that she ordered from the most um, Delia's I got these catalogs I never signed up for them I don't know how I got them I never ordered from Delia's but then they opened the store in the mall if you're from where I'm from you know what I'm talking about it's not open anymore but I loved Delia's the store but I never ordered from their catalog and then girlfriends LA did I already say girlfriends LA I was obsessed with girlfriends LA this this hat I had this hat or I think mine was like a lighter colored blue but I had a bucket hat like this which again are back in case you were wondering in case you didn't know bucket hats are back um, I had this and I also had the matching skirt why was that a thing like your headwear and the skirt match I don't know would I do it now maybe this catalog is from summer of 99 these sunglasses are in stores right now scrunchies strawberry scented scrunchies where are you 2020 where are the scented scrunchies we had them in 99 why aren't we doing that okay and the last thing and I promise I am done <laughs> this is in a Girl Scout cookie box from who knows what year this is the most exciting stuff though art stuff it's kind of gross at the top but around the bottom it stayed stayed true this one is truly disgusting mega mint chip body lotion I remember this little pump thing was garbage I also remember that the spray bottles like this were garbage but the electric apple glitter splash was my favorite fruity cutie roll-on glitter I don't know why I bought this I don't know why I was allowed to buy this because when when was I wearing this where was I going but look how again this one this would be in style right now like what is that glitter company lemonhead they probably have a glitter this color this one just sounds disgusting this was a art stuff glitter lotion in bubblegum blast guys I haven't opened any of these to see if they still smell because I'm afraid I remember that this purple one sassy starberry was my favorite scent closely followed by snow angel this is foam tastic body wash there's like a ton I think still in here I'm I don't know I want to see what the texture of it is now but I don't do you know and then these two little babies were from the Mary Kate and Ashley spa collection this was a body spray and a shimmer lotion I'm pretty sure this scent was awful which is why I didn't use it but I really don't know why I didn't use any of this other stuff it's really sad <laughs> to look at the Bath and Body Works stuff made me so happy we were talking about it a couple weekends ago and just like getting so excited to reminisce about <laughs> beauty products that we were obsessed with before we even knew what they were for okay guys so that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane with me this was so fun and I just love remembering all of this stuff so let me know in the comments section if there's anything else that like you distinctly remember loving as a child or a preteen teenager like fashion wise um, makeup or beauty product wise tell me your favorite art stuff sent in the comments below and also let me know if you want to see a video similar to this but with a bunch of like old 90s 2000 toys and stuff like that 
because I have some of that stuff and I kind of want to do it, but let me know if you want to see it. Um, yeah, that's all for this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it and I hope you are all staying safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! How much, how long was my hair out like that?